Hello everybody and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Permadeath. Right now I'm basically finishing up touches on the farm. Alright. There we go. Now to put some cotton down. <clears throat> the other part of the burned forest here. Start a farm on the other side. Alright, today I'm running around, chopping down trees, killing zombies, and making spikes. That horde base has a long way to go. And in a sense, I've got a short time to get there. So let's get my mining skill up for getting these trees. So as far as the wooden spikes go, how many can I make? We'll get that started, get her going, get her moving. Is it just me or in zombie games is it always eerie when there are no zombies around? Makes you wonder, where the hell are they? There's one big boy. What is that that I am seeing there? Oh. For a second I thought it might have been a poopy pants daycare right around the corner that I totally missed. How awesome that would have been. I think I woke somebody up. Come on, mining helmet. On mining helmet. Oh. I have nail guns. I don't even need that anymore. <clears throat> I just had a brain fart. You go ahead and work on busting out of that house. I just had a brain fart. If I'm not mistaken, if I remember, I found three, count it three. Working workbenches. I have a football helmet in my crate up top. I've Everything I need to make a mining helmet. Oh, man. Duct tape. That, 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 that. Let's go make me a mining helmet. Plus, it's not like I'm just going over there for nothing. There are trees in this area. Oh, yeah. And I cannot repair it because I don't even know how to make one. Bye-bye, hunting knife. You will be missed.
There we go. Well, that tree freaked me out a little bit. I need to make arrows. I'll have to work on that before Horde Night. Done. Scrap. Oh, yeah. Sweet. It's not like I really have to grow my own corn, but I'm doing it anyway. How much space do I have? Lead, stone, iron, nitrate, charcoal. May as well gather some other resources while I'm out gathering wood, too. My guy is hungry. Yep, starting to get less. I should dig up these random gravel patches and see if there is a mine worth making. I mean, no matter what, you bust up stone, you get iron. So stone and iron for concrete and my iron and steel? I'm not too worried about. Store that, store that, okay. Duct tape. Electrical parts. Smelting. I did throw my lead in there, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Pretty certain I did. Okay, we'll toss the dukes, the snowberries, that. Plastic. need to carry those on me. <clears throat> and I definitely do not need my hoe right now until I get more fertilizer. My pistol's practically out of ammo, so I'm going to store it. Alright, inventory management is complete now. To fill that empty void in my belt. Bone shiv. All right. Yeah, through the night I started digging there just because I wanted dirt to finish my farm. I could care less if that stone falls. There's enough of it underground. But while I'm here... Iron. Not a good place to start a mine. More iron. I'm looking for a different resource since iron is so plentiful.
And I'm only going to do one row of spikes around my horde base for the first night. <clears throat> Pardon me. Primarily for the fact that it's the first horde night. I'm not too worried. They're not going to break through. I mean, sure, it's mostly flagstone, because I wanted to get the most out of my cobblestone bits. But it's not like it's going to kill me. And off in the distance, we got a tree that wants to materialize, but I'm just not close enough. And I'm out of stamina. Okay, so how many spikes do I have coming at me now? Just 30, really? And for this video, I've actually started recording it in 50 frames per second to see how well my game holds up better. Seems to be doing alright with my recording software. I'm holding it a pretty much steady 40. We'll see what happens when I try to enter a skyscraper. Okay, there it is. Never turn away free aloe vera. Even if I am growing my own. The cactuses I'm not breaking down because any zombies that run towards my horde base that hits the cactus, they're already bound to damage their legs anyway. So I've got free damage passes around my base. There we go. Yeah, trying to keep this entire horde base level was a pain. Okay, so... Store the wrench, put the spikes. May as well take... I wanted the wood. Oh man. Hey mom. No hugs. Ooh, tuna. I don't exactly need the mining helmet right now. Positive note, I'm going to have a lot of glass jars. Okay. Copy. Come on. 
Um, stupid grass. Still see those skyscrapers and they still make me mad that I'm not running to them right away. Stamina is still slowly coming back. I'm going to have so much sand when I'm done. Then I still got that car to wrench. Do 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 There we go. No biome on one side. I'm in the desert. We'll get to exploring soon. Yeah, 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 game, I know, I'm boiling to death. Thank you. Poor bird's nest. No respawning for you.
Yeah, I'm still a fair bit away, and I still gotta make several poles. So as soon as I run out of spikes, I'm gonna hit up a clay deposit, some stones, and... You know what, let's do that now. I don't want to lose any of my materials. Okay, I don't think I got any nitrate, so... There we go, now I got nitrate. So I'm going to need some a lot more cobblestone. Should I be running to a house? No. Do I care? No. Could it have potentially shorts in the dresser? Yes. Dude. Found another town to go to. Okay, so I don't need rotten flesh. I am going to wear the mining helmet. I'm going to repair that as best I can with one piece of cloth. Yeah, there's the trader that was between the two towns. Mom! Go away! Couldn't even bring me any food, Mom? Jeez. Okay. Hello? You can stay down. Miss, miss. You can stay back. Okay. I really wanted you to stay. Oh. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Forgot about that empty space down there. Hungry zombie didn't have anything on her. I thought she was hungry. Hmm. I can toss the bones if I need anything else. Let's see what we got. Let's get some scavenging going on. Never hurts. Perfect. Oh, I got food poisoning. I was worried that was going to happen. I just wanted the chairs so bad. I know I could have dropped, but hey. Food poisoning doesn't last that long, does it? Oh yeah, I know. I'm fine. <coughs> Yeah, that was totally fine. Well, I can scrap that down there because I have a mining helmet. Dude, you were doing just fine there. Nurse just had a can on her. Can, can, can you kiss my can, can? And I do want to break that in. I do, but I just don't have the space on me. Okay, I got sidetracked. That's a my bad. Heard that, right? I'm not going nuts. Could have swore I heard a female zombie. Aha. This 
See, you're the stupid little minx that lost her legs. Okay, so... It's a crappy claw hammer, but those are easy enough to make. Oh, what a beautiful thing to have happen. Okay, what else do I want to take? I'm going to save. Because my mining skill is going to be coming along, but... No, I need to save. I'm not going to have enough if I do that. So I need a more. Four. Five. Bada bing, bada boom. See if by the time nighttime falls when I end my video, if I'll be able to actually have mining tools up to 20.
Dude, I'm doing your old job. <coughs> what did I see fall? Oh, blue spruce seed, okay. I know it didn't actually take. Hmm, cool. It's at level 19. Can I do it? Can I do it? Hmm. With that iron and fire axe in its current state, I don't think I can. Could you imagine someone making a stand in an alley like this? Excuse me, lumberjack? Sir? Sir! Let's face it, after being hit in the nuts that many times, who would want to live? Did you just break out of a house? Nah, you probably came out of that crack book I'd already busted into. Okay. Now while them cobblestones is coming. Time to make use of a workbench. While that is crafting in there, it'll take two minutes. I believe I never did come up here. Cool. Bookcase. Nothing, but we do have this.
perfect. Minute 48, okay. I don't think I looted... Uh, let's loot this house. I mean, I'm waiting for a new axe. Here's Johnny. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. You have more health. Are they really coming from upstairs? Well, I know you're not. Down, Fido. Bad boy, Jack. Bad boy. I'm going to use this while I'm on the subject. Hello? You leave those bookcases alone. Could have busted a potentially good book. this part. What the devil? How dare you? I don't like being scared like that, man. Doesn't make me feel good inside. There we go. Slap you there. Slap you there. Boom. 205 quality axe. Now to go. See if I can bust up enough trees to get my mining skill up. Because I really don't want to bust apart any other boulders until I have a 10% resource increase. So much better with a chance to get eight. Come on, I got two in game hours left. Can I do it? Bust apart a boulder. Wait, I can take sexual Tyrannosaurus now. I forgot I leveled. Let me take that without too big of an issue. I'm 
almost there. I may have to use boulders to do it. That's okay. I can sacrifice a couple of boulders for the greater good. <laughs> Really? There it is. There it is. So I'm gaining roughly eight wood per strike with this thing. With a 10% harvest bonus? Those numbers are a little bit more pleasable. Looking at the time there, I should probably, for safety reasons, get back home. I do have nitrate, coal, lead, scrap iron. Yeah, good. Or raw iron, sorry. Okay. Doesn't really affect much when you're using the iron pickaxe. Not as much. Not as much. I know it has to deal more damage. So it looks like I'm going to be shoving iron and clay into the forge overnight. Because I need more forged iron. Yes, indeed I do. Yeah, 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 I got food for you. Alrighty, Rudy Tootie. You go in there. You go in there. I'm already crafting a bunch. You know what? No. We'll do it properly. I need 28 pieces of wood. I've already got the iron coming. Although, while I'm sitting here smacking my head around... Melting, and then shove that in there. 
easy hundred percents back. <sighs> Never knock smelting your tools. Might take a little bit of management sitting there, but if you don't have the patience to do that, then what the heck are you doing playing this game? Crazy people. I really gotta make iron arrows. So I'm gonna shove those in there, those in there, those in there. That. Hunting rifle parts. Ooh la la, senorita. Okay. So do that. That. Done. This, I believe, has my aloe. There we go. And I'd say that's good to go. Got my farm nice and tasty looking. Got my forager running. Speaking of tasty, before I end off, I'm gonna have to cook some more meat. In case you're wondering, should I have actually obtained more health from that little bit of food I ate? Yes. Reason I didn't? Well, I did get food poisoning. Food poisoning, no matter what, lowers your wellness. So. That's how it goes. That's not what I wanted to do, I swear. Why am I drinking something that'll cool me off even more? It increases my wellness slightly. Now we're back on track. Alright, with everything at 100%, I say that's a pretty good area to leave off at. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Next episode will be me finishing the design on the horde base, getting those spikes up. And probably affecting the ground out there, so that it doesn't fall out from under me. But we'll see. For now, I've been Tom on 7 Days to Die Permadeath Run. Have yourselves a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!